Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Hi everyone, a very good Sunday evening to you. Wanted to start off with our one shoreline sky cam looking absolutely fantastic out there. You can really see the cloud coverage, but there is a clearing life, uh, line off into the distance and uh, we'll eventually start to see mainly clear skies, but that is a gorgeous shot out there. So I want to start off with our weather story with the clearing skies that we have outdoors taking place right now and a fairly light winds. It is going to be a cold night for us here as the temperatures start to drop pretty rapidly and uh, with sunshine uh, on the way for us, that's because of high pressure that is going to be settling into the region. But uh, we're also going to warm up by Thursday and that means more cloud coverage as well. That's also going to mean more humidity that's going to start to come in. Again, we have drier air that's filtering into the area right now. But our next cold front, if you're not a fan of those warmer temperatures, will arrive here on Friday and that does give us an opportunity for just a couple of isolated showers, unfortunately doesn't look like much in the rainfall department. I hate to say that our CCR V6 weather bug outdoors right now over on I 37 and sun tide. Once again, you can see that clearing line out there that's pushing near the coastline is where it's 67 degrees right now. Look at that dew point into the lower 30s. That is extremely dry air, especially for us here in the coastal bend with humidity only at 26%. All courtesy of that northerly wind checking in at 12 miles an hour. We continue to hold on to the middle to upper 60s over a good portion of South Texas. Even our water temperature of 66 out at Packery Channel, but still holding on to 72 degrees for our friends off in Falfurias. And these numbers anywhere between about 6 to 12 degrees cooler than this time yesterday in our inland areas of the coastal bend, anywhere between 15 to 25 degrees cooler. And look at these dew points all into the 20s and the 30s there. That's even some of those numbers are off the chart, but very dry air into the region. And a lot of these numbers are anywhere between 29 up to 46 points of below where they were yesterday. So essentially we were very humid yesterday and we're extremely dry for today. Again, the winds are not too bad at all. They're going out of the north anywhere between uh, 6 to 12 miles per hour. And as we look at the winds over the next several days, not going to be too bad. It's going to be generally light. We'll still hold on to a northerly wind for tomorrow, but more south southeasterly on Tuesday. A little bit of some high pressure pushes in once again on Wednesday, but still relatively light winds out of the east northeast 5 to 10. And then on Thursday afternoon, the southerly wind comes back. That's when we'll start to see the humidity start to bounce back as well. There's a cloud coverage again beginning to thin out across the region. And as we go into tonight and into tomorrow morning, we'll notice we'll have clear skies. It's a perfect weather for radiational cooling. That's why it'll be a cold start. And on into the afternoon, plenty of sunshine. Six o'clock will pick up a little bit of some extra high clouds over the region, but overall it's still going to be clear all the way into Tuesday morning and on into Tuesday afternoon. So if you have plans for tonight, might want to take the uh, jacket along with you or maybe a light sweater. If you like the cooler weather, we're holding on to 67 now, but by 10 o'clock we'll be holding on to the mid to upper 50s with those north northeasterly winds 5 to 10. We'll stop at 42 here upper 40s to lower 50s right near the coastline, but our inland sections of the coastal bend around George West, Beeville and up around Three Rivers will be into the upper 30s. So again, a cold start jacket needed in the morning, especially for the kiddos heading back to school. We'll be at 43 at 7 o'clock, 65, lots of sunshine at noontime and 67 with a few of those extra clouds by 5 o'clock. We'll look for 70 here, upper 60s for the inland parts of the coastal bend. Again, north high pressure is going to continue to sink right on in and this storm system, that'll be the next frontal boundary that pays us to visit as we go on into the end of the week. So our NEC Co-op Energy 7 day forecast 4270 tomorrow, 4275 on Tuesday. Lots of sun, but warming up by the end of the week. There comes that front on Friday, a few isolated showers and cools us off for the weekend. Stay with us, folks. Jeff Dubroff is coming up next with sports.